Hey guys, it's Dino for you with a little educational video. Today, I'm going to be going over the span of the age of dinosaurs, otherwise known as the Paleozoic Era. From the Triassic period to the Cretaceous period. Before I get started, I just want to let you guys know I will go off on a rant sometimes. But believe me, I know what I'm talking about. I've, I've been researching dinosaurs, believe me, I have books, movies, TV shows about them too. So, just, bef just before I get started with this video, I just wanted to clarify that. So let's get started. The Paleozoic era of the dinosaurs lasted for 255 million years. The Triassic period, the earliest known dinosaur period, were where the dinosaurs first got their grounds. Then to the Jurassic period, where dinosaurs sprang to unproportional sizes. And finally, the Cretaceous period, where dinosaurs ended up spending their last few days trying to survive until a global mass extinction wiped them all out. So let's go ahead and get started with the Triassic period, shall we? The Triassic period was where the first two known dinosaurs, Coelophysis and Eoraptor, came to light. And this was an entire period run by Placerius and Postosuchus. So, and another dinosaur from the Triassic period was found in this. Platyosaurus. The three main dinosaurs of that one specific period. Eoraptor, which means early thief. Coelophysis and Platyosaurus were were just unbelievably starting off their lives. So let's go ahead and get started with Eoraptor. Now, Eoraptor, Eoraptor is possibly the world's first dinosaur. It could hunt small mammals and insects. Coelophysis, on the other hand, could take up fish and baby Coelophysis. So it was a... It was a peekaboar, as well as a cannibal. And Platyosaurus... Well, Platyosaurus was just a plain herbivore. The Jurassic period, right in the middle of the Paleozoic era. This was where dinosaurs blossomed into existence, with unproportional sizes. The Jurassic period was where sauropods were first created. The two main ones were Diplodocus and Brachiosaurus. Diplodocus was the earliest known sauropod, while Brachiosaurus was the tallest, and I mean tallest, sauropod. Now just imagine a sauropod of that size still living today. Brachiosaurus was bigger than an elephant. But, Diplodocus was the main meal of the king of the Jurassic period, Allosaurus. Allosaurus means double, no, no not double crested lizard, that's Dilophosaurus. Allosaurus was the most, was the apex predator of the Jurassic period. 
This is also where sea reptiles blossom into existence. In the form of the world's biggest marine reptile ever discovered, Liaplorodon. Liaplorodon, well, Liaplorodon's main meal consisted of ophthalm ophthalmosaurus, which is a marine reptile, not a dinosaur. But Ichthyosaurus was also discovered at this time, another marine reptile. Plesiosaurus was also another marine reptile discovered during this time. But the scavenger of this time was a dinosaur known as none other than Eustreptospondylus. Now, this is also where the world's first flying reptiles came into being. With Dimorphodon and Rampharynchus. Now, Dimorphodon, Dimorphodon was featured in the early Jurassic period, while Rampharynchus was in the late Jurassic period. And there's a whole lot of other dinosaurs in the Jurassic period, but I'm going to cover those dinosaurs in later videos. So, trust me, you don't want to miss a thing. Now we're moving on to my personal favorite period, the Cretaceous period. Because this is where ceratopsians got their big marks, and where hadrosaurs and ankylosaurs began to come into being. Uh, myself. So ceratopsians, the two main ones, were triceratops and torosaurus. Triceratops translates to three horned face in Greek. And uh, Hadrosaurus during this time, the two main ones I'm going to talk about right now are Parasaurolophus and Myasaur. Yes, Myasaur is a Hadrosaur. Myasaur meaning mother lizard. And the two main ankylosaurs of this time were Gastonia and Ankylosaurus. Now, the big bag carnivore of the early Cretaceous period was known as Acrocanthosaurus. This thing was a sauropod destruction machine. Now, my personal favorite dinosaur, and the big bad carnivore of the late Cretaceous period, was none other than Tyrannosaurus rex. Tyrannosaurus rex translates to Tyrant Lizard King. So you can imagine this thing was the king of the dinosaurs. And it still is. Now, 65 million BCE, otherwise known as before the Common Era, that's when things started to get catastrophic. Because scientists now have conclusive evidence that dinosaurs were wiped out by an asteroid. No bigger than... The asteroid that was found in the Gulf of Mexico, may I, my, may I mind you, could fit inside this wicker basket. It had a force of 14... Hiroshima bombs. 
which is the equivalent of 14 little boys being dropped in Hiroshima. Hiroshima and Japan, Nagasaki, Japan, were bombed by two atomic bombs dubbed Little Boy and Fat Man during World War II. But that's at the end of 1945. We're still in 65 million BCE, otherwise known as before the Common Era. Now, after the asteroid struck, it started a chain reaction of earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanic eruptions, and acid downpours, otherwise known as acid rain. Now you can also imagine that in the Gobi Desert of Mongolia, this also caused a freak sandstorm, burying anything that was still alive. And the lake that the dinosaurs dragged from there started lifting up huge amounts of sulfuric acid suffocating all life in the Gobi Desert. The Pacific Northwest, however, was facing its own problems. Three dinosaurs, Triceratops, Ankylosaurus, and Tyrannosaurus Rex, were battling out to see who could last longer. But unfortunately, all three of them died, marking the end of the longest lifespan of any known living creature on this entire planet. Now, that same asteroid wiped out 90% of life on Earth, leaving room for mammals and insects to take over. The biggest, the main the main mammals taking over the Earth being us humans. But, but the dinosaurs are still around us in the form of their cousins. Reptiles, which are um, crocodilians and snakes. And birds, which are otherwise known as avians. And that's how the dinosaurs... The, and that's the entire dinosaur era, spanning the Triassic period, from when the dinosaurs first got their ground, to the Cretaceous period where the dinosaurs died. If you guys want me to explain a certain dinosaur in depth, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below what dinosaur I should do next. I will go in depth about a certain dinosaur, trust me. And, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.